Hey, where about to be sign up? Tell me what's your prediction today for uh, how many fish we're going to catch and if we're going to win this tournament. The tournament? I don't know about the tournament. But yeah. Probably not. <laughs> what do you think, Shelta? Yes. I hope we get something in the drawing. I hope we get the tournament. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, I think yeah we'll win the tournament. Boom. <laughs> Oh yeah, we don't have to wear our seat belts out here. Pretty packed. This must be the hot spot. <laughs> It's over there. Take your spot. <laughs> yeah. No ham sandwich. <laughs> All right. And uh, don't ask me why I'm holding a ham sandwich while I talk to you. Uh, I just wanted to make you hungry. <laughs> this one. Stick them right there. Right there. See? Yeah. <laughs> there it goes. There. So what are you doing there? I'm getting jiggy with it. He's getting jiggy with it. Is that a technique? Yeah. I'm getting jiggy with it. Hey, that little heater is throwing off some heat. Yeah. And this depth finder. This is how I get jiggy with it. I, just, I go side to side too. <laughs> Looks like we're at 12 feet. Is that right? About, about, about 14. 
Hey, move that bobber one. See, see, see that green thing? We just got Ice fishing. And so he was watching for a long time. He seen a big pile of fish there, so he just waited until he got the pile got bigger and bigger. Then he ran a bum rushed him and out there ate up all the fish and stuff like that and took out back out in the way. I mean he's done. And the fox sat there eating. You know, he couldn't do nothing. Uh -huh. Bear went back out in the woods again on the edge of the lake again. Then he watched that fox do it again. Wait until he filled <laughs> it all up. Yeah. And that third time, the fox finally told him, say, hey, he said, why don't I just tell you how, show you how to fish? Because they can catch all the fish you want, so you can stop stealing my fish. He said, oh, okay. So he said, what you do is you take your, take your bone, here's a thing, gave my bone off the fish, made a hook out of it. And you put it in your tail, and you just sit there and pop your tail up and down, up and down, up and down, and then the fish will get it, and then you pull him up. Pull it up. So the bear stuck his tail in the hole, and he's sitting there, bobbed up, bobbed up. Pretty soon he realized he went like this. His tail was stuck in there. He yanked and yanked out there, boom, pull his tail like that. Here, that's why he's got a nub on his tail. The trickster. The trickster. The trickster tricked him. When you turn him in, or. The big fish. <laughs> yeah, it's not that cold out here either. It's a pretty good day for ice fishing. There's a lot of people out here too. There's a whole bunch of people, isn't there? Yeah. I know, Dad. What do you think about the time that they picked there for the tournament? Mm -hmm. I like it. It's all right. I guess they got into it, finish it kind of early. Like it's dark, and they don't want a bunch of people out here. <clears throat> well, the best time to fish here. Um, that we've done in the past is like 4 30 ish. That's why we're coming back. <laughs> yeah, we're coming back. There's a lot of people. Oh, my name is Tito Ibarra. I'm a road member of the Red Lake Band of Ojibwe. And uh, we're just here at the Chemical Health Program Fishing Tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, we're down uh, we're by the uh, fisheries landing in Red Bee. And uh, beautiful day out for, for fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, they got some nice prizes. They're having some raffles. There's like uh, four places, four, three, two, one, and the adults. And then there's kids categories. And it's just a good time. Good time mm -hmm. to have food out there. And 
and uh, it's nice. It's nice to be able to do things like this community stuff. I'm uh, excited. I caught a fish. Yeah. Last two tournaments I was in, I didn't catch nothing. So even if I don't play, so I'm just happy that I caught a fish. I got on the board anyway. You know? Yeah, man, I didn't get anything. Hey, I heard my dad came over and scared you. And, and oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was funny because I, uh, I was out there. Do, I, I, I was doing my Red Lake my red lake woman slang like like uh, last couple of years. It's been like, oh, the hell, they say that around here a lot of time. And, and then I, I had another saying, and I started using it, and I started looking outside, and I was like, why them guys even bring a tent? They're not even sitting in there. <laughs> and, then, and then he came over, and I couldn't hear him to the, because the music was playing and stuff. And, and he was he was fixing his gloves, and I was like, uh oh, I was like, it looked like he was going like that. Like, oh man, I was like, hoping it make nobody mad, but yeah. you know, he just he, somebody told him he's like, who is that? And somebody told him that's Tito over there. <laughs> oh. This thing, you think? All right, man. Thank you for your yeah. time. Yeah, thank you, man. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> All right, here's for that fish. Oh, hey, we need that. Whoever wins that fish, we need that box and that cooler bag. Not that comes with that. <laughs> <laughs> Nine, six, nine, five, three, five. Six <laughs> 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 miles, then the time of double come. come. Quick, if I flip this first thousand. What? Shit, that'll be slick like moving mountains. Yeah. First, I gotta get to writing these miracles. My verse see embedded, fully lit up with that lyrical burst with this mic. On life, I write these words that recite under the pale moonlight. So cynical, get them feeling critical. Killing them every show, sick flow like the wind blows. Get yours, hit the studio with heart and soul. Pray not for an easy life, but for strength to never let go. Never back down, never give up. Yeah, I never give up. It's never give up.